Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Blinds. Billy's like, I guess I'll stand here, and Greg's like, I'm thinking, why did I have to be the protagonist of this game and no other games? I've never gonna make appearance in the main series again, am I? That damn Ethan guy from Resident Evil 7 and his sequel of Resident Evil 8. All the number series are going to that asshole now. I'm never gonna be able to make my reappearance, so bitch. Anyways, I best go here. Probably best not, actually. This handgun, I don't think he's gonna be able to take out all of them. Oh, what am I thinking? Ow, ow, ow! Oh! Get fucked, mate! All this for fucking handgun rounds? Serious? Might as well reload. Just fire and fire. Uh oh. Ooh, it was a bad time to reload. Oh god. I am so fucked. I should not have done this. <laughs> I am gonna die! Oh fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a zombie conga line of that size, to be honest. I didn't realize the price of getting around them was just shitty hand rounds. Resident Evil Zero. It was Yellowway, wasn't it? I should have gone. My bad. Guess I will use Billy after all. Just go in there, shotgun blasting, kick their ass. Still haven't got a trophy for uh, destroying a zombie's legs. It's like I got the trophy for, you know, destroying their heads pretty early on, but... The legs? That hasn't happened yet. You know, I'd imagine a shotgun would blow up their legs. But you, you know, generally want to aim for the head. So... You don't really think, oh, let's blow up their legs. So, to go get that herb again, I think I'll do that first. I don't think there's really anything else up here, really. Guess the final area of the game is like, okay, you're gonna need healing items, so here they are. But we won't give you red herbs for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna destroy your legs. Ow! There we go, we got... We got the legs. We got the head. We got it all. Half price. Danger. Always wear protective clothing while operating equipment. Get fucked! Oh shit! I didn't mean get me fucked. Gotta be careful, they could stun lock me very easily here. Shit. Bastards. Hunters, man. Really, that's all that's in here? If there's a bit at all, Hunter, I'm gonna be quite annoyed. 
Oh, it's a safe room. And we got grenades. You're not looking too well, sir. Looks like it's been a while since this one croaked. Yeah, unless your head, your brain has been destroyed, uh, you're not welcome in the safe room. I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Oh, we need. My god, they really are. It's like, okay, the final boss is near, so. You're gonna need all this shit around here. Hmm. You know what? It's gonna ditch this shit. It's a shame that there's no shotgun rounds. Yeah, yeah, I see that. What about the note? The note, sir. The note. God damn it. What angle do you want me to approach this from? No, seriously. What angle do you want me to look at it from? It's right there. There, Jesus Christ. That battery fluid. Battery fluid, the fluid used in batteries is a diluted solution of mixed water and sulfuric acid. Both must be of a high pro ah, purity. And for the charge, battery fluid should have specific gravity of blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I'm going blah 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 blah, but that's probably going to be very important. Battery acid purity, take care that the dilute sulfuric acid solution is of a sufficient purity. I'm gonna recklessly go on ahead. It's a one way trip. Oh. Slugs. Well, leeches. Leeches, leeches, leeches. Leech, 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 leech. Not gonna be coming no leech man on my watch. Okay. No oh, straight path. Don't like the looks of this. This is gonna. This is probably where I'm gonna encounter those enemies I keep hearing about. It's like I say, keep hearing about. It. It's like, oh yeah, the comments have been mentioned. No, the comments don't exist yet because it's still September from recording. But I could imagine them mentioning it. They'd be like, oh, watch out for these enemies. It's like way ahead of you. What's this? The control panel for the gondola. The motherboard is missing. Of course it's missing. The motherboard the gondola can't receive electric current. Why is there always zombies everywhere you go? I guess it's because we're, you know, it's a Resident Evil game. It can't be weird if it wasn't. Oh, God damn, I was trying to aim just right, but couldn't. Oh, glorious shotgun rounds. Batter up, bitch. It's like that's not how that works. Treatment plant manager's diary. Damn it, why is normal industrial waste being delivered here? This is an umbrella corporation facility. We can't deal with this poly material. Plus, they're sending us contaminated materials, but that we can't process. What are we supposed to do with it? 24 7, well, looks like they're closing it down. Not surprising, using like they did. Had to be done, but it was pretty sudden. It's not like they cared until now. It was as long as I get out of here, I don't care what they do. You know, Resident Evil games, you know, made by Japanese company, but they're set in like an American, fictional American, you know, uh, setting for the most part, you know. Then they occasionally go to abroad, you know, very occasionally, like Resident Evil 4, for example. But that's probably, well, that and the fact that I imagine the translation was done by Americans, so they have the date like that, where it's uh, month, day, year. Doesn't even have the year here, so it's a little confusing to look at. 
probably here in the UK, it's day, month, year. And it always confuses me and throws me off every time I see, like, the uh, way that it's done in America. Because, like, if it's, say, like, if that 20, if it wasn't the 24th and it was the 7th, it was 7-7, seven, seven, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was, like, month or day. I'd be very confused by that. So the only way you can really tell that's the day is if it's past the number 12. Don't know, I just find it confusing. Anyone else find that confusing? Or is that the norm, wherever you're from? And all the terminal. Could use this one now. Well, that's not a gondola, it's just a lift. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What have we here? Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Oh, I really don't like the looks of it now that it's a cutscene. You're the thing I've been warned about, aren't you? What the fuck are you? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? It's the fucking tyrant again. I wasn't warned about no tyrants. It's too dangerous to go up now. Again in a cramped spot. Tyrant! Fuck you! At least the shotgun stuns him. Yeah, this fight isn't too tough, but I might run out of most, if not all, my shotgun rounds. Oh my god, how- oh, 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 how did both rounds miss? Seriously. Fuck you, tyrant. Oh, I'm, I'm soon to be out of ammo. It's not good. Uh, why the fuck did that miss? Aiming with this thing sucks. No! Oh. oh my god. I hate this fucking... I hate the boss fights. I really do. They're so shit. Resident Evil Zero. It's like I, you know, I saw the hidden uh, trophies, so I kind of knew we were going to fight that tyrant the second time, but I wasn't expecting it there. God, they really had a fucking hard one for the tyrant back then, didn't they? It's like, you fight him twice in Resident Evil 1, you fight him twice in Resident Evil 0, but it's not the same tyrant. It's the proto-tyrant. It's not as strong as the... Uh, main tyrant, but I don't fucking give a shit. It's still overpowered bullshit. Where am I going? Um, yeah. And there's fuck all I can really do about the tyrants. I've just got my shotgun and that's it. Billy, Billy, Billy. It's dangerous to go alone, so hand over this useless, absolutely dreadful thing that you're still carrying around and instead uh, take these all of them and also take this just in case you run out of rounds which you inevitably will this way okay Sorry, I could use the Magnum again, but I don't want to waste my ammo on the freaking next to final boss, you know? Save it for the final boss. I'll go alone. Roger. 
You know what? I gotta take out the bastards in the way. The handgun, I don't think, will suffice. For the uh, zombies in the way. I mean, we've got so much handgun ammo, but it's kind of useless when there's hordes of zombies everywhere. Up against one or two, fair enough. But anything more, well, yeah, more than that, and you're screwed. Now what I've, uh, Change of plan, actually. Should probably bring, bring, bring Rebecca along, because there's a safe room ahead, so... Good. Well, oh, fuck, that means... Oh, you can never win, can ya? You can never win. Okay. Rebecca, drop this. Uh, actually, no, you don't need to drop it. You can go back and pick up the grenade launcher and be fine. You can drop it in the safe room. I've got to run back to get my grenade launcher. I'm going to off screen because this is going to be a long stroll of backtracking. Ah. Uh, hello. Am I going the right? No, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Sorry to uh, just excuse me. Uh, I, I've got the wrong floor. <laughs> Oh, backtracking is tedious, even more so when you don't know where you're going. What bloody floor was it on? I don't know, because the map changes depending on where you are, which is kind of annoying. Wait, what? Then how the fuck do I get back to my grenade launcher? Wait. It's the same elevator, right? Oh god, I'm confused. <laughs> but wasn't that blocked off by rubble? Have I lost access forever for my grenade launcher? If so, then that's real shit. I know, I've been lugging around this piece of shit hook shot this whole time, but for all I know, it probably doesn't even have any other use in this game beyond this point. I don't know. So I'm just holding it around with me just in case. Which is kind of annoying to say the very least. Because it's not really doing anything but taking up inventory space. That could be better used for, I don't know, herbs, you know, other things. So, the third floor. Maybe I've been wasting my time and all that, and it was just go for a year. Okay, it's, uh, yeah. Break a hole through there. Okay, fine. All that backtracking was entirely pointless. Because I was going the wrong way the whole time. That could have gone better. <laughs> Don't know how many minutes I spent there, but it was quite a few. It was, if not, ten minutes. Oh... What a clusterfuck. I'm back, Billy! It's like, oh, fucking hell. About damn time, it took forever. Right. This way. Roger. Gotta take out some zombies along the way, and we should be good. So just, uh, you know, keep yourself alive while I do that. Oh, come on, get out of the fucking way. There we go. Let's actually equip the handgun. 
because I don't waste any more ammo on any zombies gonna get in the way. Gonna save before fighting the tyrant again though. Oh wait, bad idea. Shotgun's still needed here. Get the fuck! Perfection's just like, should I do something, Billy? No, I can handle myself. Get up, you piece of shit. The shotgun, it lacks something, if you ask me. It doesn't have that power to it. You can't tell if you're hitting it sometimes, you know? It's really awkward. Right, so we got some goods around here. He's dead. But will he stay dead? You know what, that's a good point. Will he stay dead? Like if I leave Rebecca in here, will he just come to life and stop kill her? You never know. Okay, now I can drop this piece of shit. No, nope, not, not exchanges. Pick up a photo stand. There's something written in the corner. Daddy, please come home soon. We have a tragedy. Well, the whole thing's a tragedy. <laughs> it's like he he had a he had a kid at home waiting for him to return, but he's dead now. But you know, uh, I mean, if his kid's also living in Raccoon City, um, well, if you if you, just, you know, seem to be free <laughs> or even two, yeah. Maybe, maybe they won't be part of it too long. As fucked up as that sounds. Alright, let's load these bad boys. And pick up this shit. Combine the shit. But hey, you take over so you can pick this up. I want dried fruit that doesn't seem to be anything of interest. There's something of interest right here. I just want to, you know, when I save the game, I want, you know, not to have to pick shit up over and over. You know, maybe I could just go on ahead and be like, fuck the tyrants. I'm going in the opposite direction. Uh, I've saved 17 times now, that's ridiculous. I remember the, um, uh, what was it? Project Zero Fail Frame series. Let's split up. Roger. Had like a scoring system, I think, anyway. Are they even got all the pictures of their family and friends and whatnot? Presumably. But they're all dead now. You know what, there's supposed to be uh, a sort of re-release of sorts in October for uh, squash, 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 for uh, the uh, um, the uh, Project Zero Fail Frame game that was released on the Wii U. It's going to be released on the PS4. It's like I hear, I've I've seen the trailer for it, but haven't watched the trailer. I just know the trailer exists, and I know there's a release date for it in late October or something. And that's a shame, because it's like, how fitting would it have been to, you know, let's play, well, I, I don't know if I could really handle let's play all of the big three, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and Project Zero Fail Frame for the final October special, but whatever. 
Now, one thing that bugs me about it, other than the fact that it's the game that uh, I heard about years ago and I was like, what the fuck did they do with this character? Damn you, why did you freaking ruin it? But other than that, one thing that bugs me is, you know, I don't see it on the PSN available for pre-order or anything. I see it nowhere for pre-order other than the official sites. So I'm wondering if it's like, it's going released in America. And I'd be like, fuck. It's like, it's just like, it's just like, we released the remake of the second game on the Wii U. Oh, hello. And we didn't release it to the Americans, so uh, we thought we, you know, pull a reversal for this one. If that's the case, I'm not going to be amused. Fuck your crotch! I've got so much hand. Oh, fuck! Oh, I hate that. Can't even tell if he's aiming at half time. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, shit. Takes a lot to take down just a uh, regular ass zombie. I mean, they aren't quite regular ass zombies because they're naked zombies, so you don't see that too often. At least in this game. Well, till now, anyway. Still alive. Uh, well, about as alive as a zombie can be. You're still fine. Everything's okay. What do you mean? Oh, fuck. Typical. Oh, boy. Wait. Oh, that's even worse than I thought. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, you got way less ammo this time around. Fuck. Ah, oh, this is awful. You cannot use it without the motherboard, motherfucker. Can I say fuck the tyrant? I'm going this way. <laughs> well, you know, I'm inevitably going to have to go that way, but I want to see what's this way first. Ominous. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I can go that way just yet. Yeah. Oh, it's like a passage. Yeah, you don't want to go down there just yet, though. Bad idea. How do they expect you to freaking fight this piece of shit with this little amount of ammo? Handgun's not gonna do much against a fucking tyrant. Even if he is like the underpowered version. I mean, honestly, he doesn't really feel that underpowered to me. Supposed to be underpowered compared to the tyrant in the first game, but... Certainly not seeing it with how many freaking shots it takes. Everything in this game is a bullet sponge. Makes it feel like the T-Virus kind of wore off its uh, true potential strength once it got to the mansion instance. Greetings and salutations. Fuck you. You gotta watch out for that movement. Shot in the ass and you're too late. You give the tyrants a bad name.
Come on, you test tube freak. Oh, come on. This is what I hate. You gotta be in the right angle, or you miss. Just fucking stay in place. Wah! One more round! One more round! That's all I got. At least he's easy enough to dodge, I guess. That's one consolation here. You're not aiming for him, though. Oh, Jesus Christ! You and your fat ass, tyrants! Oh, come on! Now he's blocking my way! Your ass is too big! Shoot you in the hand! Oh, fuck! This is supposed to be the underpowered tyrants? I find it hard to believe. This is not underpowered. Oh, fuck off! He's got too much range! Oh, uh, this is awful. Who designs these fucking boss fights? Bullet sponges does not make a fight fun. How oh, fuck off! Now the cat one's out of the room, because now I'm getting pissed off. Fucking die already! Jesus fucking Christ! I'd teabag you if I could, you piece of shit. I've got so much ammo, fuck you, fuck you, stay dead, you fucking cocksucker. Anyways, the cat one's out of the room, so open it. Right, Molly. If you're wondering who Molly is, it's the cat. You are a very strange cat. You went out of the room, I open the door, and you just stand there like, hmm. I go out of the room, get a can of tango, return, and you're like, actually, I'm gonna sit back on the PS4. Why do you do this? <laughs> right, so, uh, button. What does it do? Yeah, if you ask me, the fact that he was like, I can't do this while the tyrant's here. You have to press a button, wait for it to come down, run around, come back here. You don't even need to find tyrants. But no, you have to have a boss fight. Okay, where are we? That the motherboard, yep. Oh, I'm in danger. It's like it's that meme, you know? Ha ha ha, I'm in danger. Except you don't actually hear the laugh because it's always in text, like chuckles or laughs, I'm in danger. Where's the, that meme even from, anyway? I've got the motherboard, and I've got the mother of all gut aches. My guts is about to come out right now because, oh my god, that tyrant just sliced me up something fierce, man. I'm going the wrong way. Ha 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 ha. Of course. You know, the way I just laughed there, I was thinking, imagine Tommy was so playing this game. That'd be something. Oh, hi, tyrants. Well, actually, in that case, it'd be, you are tearing me apart, tyrants! I hope this doesn't summon anything in, but I'm gonna put it in here, because, you know, get it out of the way. It has been restored! What... 
does not really do exactly. It's a small gondola. I reckon it's probably right. He's like, I can and I, I'm too big for that shit. Besides, I'm injured as fuck. I do want to see what's beyond that point, though. I really do. So I'm gonna save the game. After healing. Send Rebecca out to probably die. <laughs> it's just like, okay, you're the scout here. It's like, you're probably gonna die on this mission, Rebecca, but it's got no choice. I start to wonder if maybe one of those pesky leech men were gonna appear again. That would be the ultimate insult to injury if they reappeared and killed you after that fight. Hey, Rebecca, good news! We've, like, we're on to, like, the next boss we fight will be the final boss. Bad news is I'm nearly dead. And I got no shotgun rounds. That's a big problem, you see. So, you know what? You, you're going to be the one going on ahead. Billy's going to be completely unarmed. Could have really gone back to pick up one of the knights, but I don't think the knights would work very well on any enemy we could encounter in this, you know, section of the game. So let me just heal. I'll just chill out here. I'll just stare at this pinup. Is that what a pinup is? Whatever. It's more staring at the wall than anything, really. Let's save. You know, I just fought back to uh, Resident Evil 2. I'm pretty sure it was in Resident Evil 2. Where you check the uh, the stars room, or maybe it was in Resident Evil 3, because you go there in both games. But in one of them, like, if you clicked on what I assume was Wesker's death multiple times, and, like, you, the description would be like, oh, someone was, like, looking for something, or whatever. And then if you click on it enough, you'll find a picture of Rebecca, and it's like has on it recruit or something like that I can't remember it and I'm just thinking like imagine if Rebecca came across something like that like Wesker are you obsessed with me I mean what what, what was the deal with that was Wesker just attracted to her or something the fuck or was he just like this would make for a good uh, you know uh, test subject against the bio weapons I don't know. All aboard the Death Express. And that now just gets dropped like several hundred feet to the ground. Welcome. You're going to die. Probably. This lever here is to operate the floodgate toward the dam. Okay. Billy, it looks like you're coming back after all. Oh, it'd be funny if it's like, oh, she can't do that. Billy has to do it. It's like, well, how the fuck do you expect me to get Billy over there? Oh, look at that. I don't think I can pick it up though. Yeah. Stairs are broken. Oh no. The humanity. I really am at this point. I'm like, I'm not going to save again. I'm not going to record three parts in a row. So I'm just really kind of scouting ahead and see what I'm up against, really. Okay, so we're getting a lot of grenade rounds around here. What's this? There's gotta be some chemicals involved. Excuse me, sir. Just having a good old nose around. 
contain a of some kind of life form, it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. So we display the mysterious looking graph. What kind of chemical we got here? Blue chemical. It was now unlocked. This lead to the uh where does it lead? Uh oh. It just leads back here. Oh come on, we can't have that. Okay, okay. I was expecting, you know. Well, actually, I guess Billy. Billy, you've got nothing to lose and nothing to win because you get you get nothing out of this because I ain't saving. I'm just scouting ahead to see what I'll be up against and then promptly forget it in the next record session. I would not be surprised. Squash! Oh, did I squash it? I don't think it did. That would be funny if the final boss spawns loads of leeches and you can like kick them like a football right back at it and it does damage. It's like, you want your leeches? Or I'll have them back, bitch. Whoop. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. The uh, thing's been low enough, so I can go through. I gotta go down here for that, though. That doesn't seem safe. You know, the. Uh, Whatever is leaking there, you know? The steam. Could be gas. You know, one thing for certain though, this place is 120% going to be destroyed at the end of this game. Can't have a Resident Evil game without everything exploding in the end. Might as well pick up these herbs. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna save, so it's kind of pointless to pick them up. I really am just scouting ahead. I want to know what's beyond this point. Oh, you're the frog monsters. I'll get back to you in a moment, because that seems like the perfect way to end this uh, part and record session. Getting eaten by a frog. Because apparently they will one-shot you. Maybe there's more ahead. Well, there's a zombie. And there's handgun ammo. I've got no weapon. Nope. Let's test my dodging skills. Extreme dodging! Oh fuck, camera angles fuck me over, fuck it. I'll explore that place some other day. <laughs> Time to go eat, get eaten by a frog. Don't think there's a trophy for it, but... Hey, what a way to go, eh? Hello, froggy. Where's the one-hit shot I've heard so much about? Froggy, you disappoint me! The one time where I just, like, don't give a shit, and it's like, I'm not gonna do anything to you. I hear this frog can one-shot you, what's all this shit? I guess I'll go past the zombies after all. Disappointing, Froggy. You'll probably one-shot me when I don't want you to one-shot me, which is pretty much any other given time. Shotgun rounds. Smoothly repaired, blah. Again, I'm not gonna save, so I don't care about wasting ammo on you guys. Boom! Oh, come on, that should have blown his head right Ow, 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 ow. Okay. It's locked! It's a magnetic card reader, we need a card. Got a card, sir? Oh, fuck off! Sit down, boy! You got shot in the fucking dick point blank range with a fucking shotgun and you just no sold it. We're gonna get your deads. Well, I'm dead, so it probably doesn't make a difference if you have a dick or not, but fucking hell, that should do damage. Frogman, it's either you or me. 
one on one. Froggy is very shy now that I've got shot. So, oh well, that's anticlimactic. It would have been cool to see the animation that I feared about. I don't even know what kind of animation it really is, but they can one shot you. So I was kind of interested in seeing that, you know, now that I don't give a shit because I've already saved the game. Oh well. I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.